I discovered this a few years ago. This is colcannon, and it's a way to make sure that potatoes are about as elevated as you could make them. Super, super easy. This is a really old Irish recipe. Gotta make sure my pans are hot. And it's, this uh, colcannon is, um, what it means is white-headed cabbage in Irish or Gaelic or one of them. And it's traditionally served on Samhain. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's the day after Halloween. If I'm not, somebody tell me. But it's really easy. Let me show you how you do it. Now back here I've got, I'd say about two, two and a half pounds of, of Irish potatoes. And I'm just simmering them off. Over here I've got about half a pound of bacon. And out of the pan that I did the bacon in, I drained out all of the grease. Aha! About two cups of shredded cabbage. That's going to go right in here, and I don't want to stir fry it or saute it. I actually want to barely steam it. Oh, my timer's about to go off. So I'm putting a little bit of water. What this is going to do, it's going to get all the little bacony stuff off the bottom without the grease. And I don't want to let it go so long that it gets soggy. I just want to get it a little bit tender. So I'm going to cover this up. Back here, just to get hot, a cup of cream. This is not what we found. No. You know, we, you know we like Ireland for a reason. And we've got a cup of butter. Now, in Ireland, and this is what is the best thing. When they serve this, they serve it family style. And they, they put it in the middle. And they put a hole in the center of the potatoes. And they fill that with melted butter. And the whole deal is that you're supposed to take a fork full of potatoes and dip it in melted butter. Yeah. That's a good start. Okay. Now, my potatoes are almost done. I've got my cabbage sitting here, going to steam for probably five or six minutes. Potatoes are good. And I'm letting the cream and the butter get warm and kind of come together. I'm going to drain these off and come right back, and I'll show you how super easy this is and how really, really good. All right, so I steamed off my potatoes, and then when I put them back into the warm pot, put them back into the hot pot because it helps dry them off. I threw in the cream and the butter that I had melted back here. I have the cabbage right here that I've given just a few minutes. You still want some texture and, and some crunch to it. Well, not crunch, bite, I guess. So that is coming right over here into the pot. Now, I like to do the green onions that go in here. These are tiny, they've got very mild flavor, so I don't like to cook them. If you want to, if you want a softer flavor, go ahead and throw them in the pot with the cabbage for the last couple minutes. And then right in there. And if you've added the cream and the butter and it's a little too dry, save out some of the potato cooking water and use that. But then, if you do that, watch the salt because it'll be a little too salty if you're not careful. So, black pepper. Okay. So, all I'm doing is I'm going to mash this up, transfer it over there get ready to show you what will probably be your new favorite comfort food. All right, you know I had to say the whole family style thing. Well, unfortunately, I'm here all by myself. <laughs> I guess my camera got in count. There we go. You gotta love over the top ridiculous and I think this defines it. A little bit of green onion, a little bit of cabbage, a little bit of bacon, and right into the melted butter. I think I'm going to move to Ireland. Yeah. Oh my god, that's good.